What's up guys? Learning with Rich here in this video. I'm gonna show you how to create an area in Revit 2025. For this uh, Revit, tips and tricks, okay? So the area of the building is one of the most important design aspects. So budgets and cost are often based on the square footage of a building. And even the number of people ca that can occupy the building is based on the area required per person. So for this exercise, I'm going to show you how to create your uh, area. Okay, so let's do that. So to start, we need to create an area scheme. So to do that, so from the architecture tab, room and area. So let's go to the area and volume computation. So let's click that one. All right, and then let's go to the area schemes. Click that one. All right, so we have two schemes here already by default. So we have the gross building, which uh, total constructed area of the building, and then the other one is rentable. So the description for this is area measurements based on the standard method for measuring floor area in uh, office buildings. Okay, I'm not going to use this. I'm, I want to create my own. Okay, so that's why I'm going to select new. Okay, and then I'll just call this uh, zoning. Okay, so same description. I'm just going to use the default description. So that's the area scheme that I'm going to use for this exercise. So I'm going to select here. Okay, that's it. All right, and then after that, so we are now ready to create our area plan. Okay, so to create my area plan, I'm just going to select the area here. So click the drop down arrow and then let's select area plan. Okay, so I'm going to select all the floor from floor 1 to floor 4. Okay, so you can click floor 1, hold your shift and then click floor 4. That's it. Okay, and then after that just select here OK. Alright, and then you will see here automatically create area boundary lines associated with all external walls so yes okay so i'm going to select yes and then you will see this warning so that's fine you just select okay okay so we just need to do that like uh, three times more because we're going to create four floor so one two three there you go okay and then after that so this is now my area plan Okay, so this is the area plan and then if you look at the project browser, you can see there's a new um, category added here which is area plans, rentable. And then this is not the one that I have created so I'm going to undo, I am actually made a mistake there so that's not rentable, I want the zoning so I'm going to undo. Okay, so area plan. All right, so let's do that again. So area, area plan, this one. So let's change this to zoning. Click that. So that's the one that we created. And then let's select floor one to floor four. So select OK. Yes. And then OK. One, two, three. So floor 4 is the last floor plan created. That's why it is the floor plan that is open currently. And then if you look at the project browser, this is now our area plan here. Area plans and then zoning area scheme. So if you expand that, you can see that you now have here 4 floors with floor 4 as the active floor plan because that's the last floor that was created. And then if you're going to zoom in here, you will notice there's already the boundary there, right? So there's already the boundary for this uh, floor. So what we want to do, I want to create a boundary for my uh, corridor. Okay, so boundary for my corridor and then for my office area. And then let's say for the core here on my stair. Okay, and then another office area here, for example. So we need to edit the boundary of our uh, area plan floor 4. So to do that, so from the architecture, so there is a tool here, area boundary. So let's click this one and then apply area rules is selected by default. So make sure this is selected. Okay, 
because if you click that it is disabled so just click again so that's how it looks like when it is enabled so i will be using a peak lines so let me click that one so i want to create a boundary here so i already have a boundary here at the top so i'm just going to click this then i want to click this one as well i want to create the corridor and then all right now i want to use line tool or peak lines so i can still select peak lines here all right and then after that i'm going to select line tool so click that then i'll be clicking that one and then i'll be clicking all the way here okay and then i'll just move it all the way here there you go and then select modify so i still need to create another one here so let's go back again to area boundary let's use the line tool okay so let's uh pick here one and then all the way here there you go and then escape once all right oh so i want to close this one up to here there you go modify and then as you can see my arc here is not uh, properly closed up to that point you see the arc it should be closed up to this point okay so I'm going to select this arc here and then you see that dot so I'm going to drag that and then I'll just drag it here there you go oops I don't want like that so I'm going to undo and then click again so all right so that's fine okay so you will notice that some of them are overlapping and they don't all form perfect corners however this won't affect the areas as the area rules determine the exact location of the lines so depending on whether they are internal or internal walls the area will take account of this when it's placed okay so now after we create oh let's place another one here on our stair so before we continue so area boundaries i'll select here rectangle let's click that and then let's click here up to here there you go and then let's select here modify okay that's it so after we create the boundary so i'm now going to create my area so let's click this one i'm going to label it so area so it creates an area defined by walls and boundary lines so i'm going to select area okay all right so as you can see this is my office space okay so i'm going to place one here so that includes this space here and then this space here below so i'm going to place one here that's right and then for my corridor so maybe i'm going to place here my corridor lining up there you go and then maybe here i'm going to put another one so this is my core area and then let's say for this one this is another uh, office area so let's place one here and then this is my uh, core area so let me place one here there you go okay and then i'm going to select modify so as you can see there's now the size in square uh, square foot okay now the next thing that i'm gonna do is i'm going to rename it so let's say for this one so this is a core area so i'm gonna click that and then click the name area so let's edit the parameter so let's type the name uh, let's say core and then for this one this is my uh, corridor all right so by the way if you want to avail the exercise file that i'm doing right now you can check the description of this video and then you can click the link provided so you can go to the link and avail the exercise file from the link button of the description of this video all right 
Okay, so this one is my office area. Office. Okay, and this is another core area. And okay, this is another office area for me. There you go. And then just click outside. There you go. So I just created my area plan for floor four. So that's it for this simple exercise. Hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.